Hi there, my name's Sadia and welcome to Recipes for Littlies. Today I'll be showing you how to make my Mexican inspired slow cooked lamb. It's one of my daughter's favorite recipes. The meat is lovely and tender and it's flavored with some beautiful spices. I'll be cooking the slow cooked lamb on the barbecue, but you can easily make this in the oven, so I'll pop those instructions below. So let me show you how to make it. And remember to watch to the end so you don't miss out on my top tips. These are the ingredients that you'll need. I'm making a double batch today because this recipe freezes so well. As always, I'll have all the ingredients listed in the description box below. I like to start off by preparing the marinade or the spice mix that's going to coat our lovely lamb. One of the key ingredients is this chipotle in adobo sauce that I just got from the supermarket. It smells really um, a bit smoky and it has quite a big chilli hit. I'm just going to pop in a couple of tablespoons of this. I'll just slice that up. Squeeze in the lime juice. Just pour in the, the oil, salt, pepper, and some cinnamon, coriander, some beautiful roasted cumin, some smoky paprika, and some oregano. This all a mix. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare the lamb. You just want to get a really sharp knife and then poke some really deep incisions. This will help the marinade that we prepared to go nice and deep into the meat. But we're also going to pop in some garlic cloves that we chopped up. So you just grab these garlic cloves and you just nestle those in and the garlic will pretty much melt by the time we finish slow cooking this. Okay. And remember to turn the lamb over and give the other side some love. So again, just putting in those slits and then popping in some of those garlic cloves. Now I'm going to transfer this into a roasting tray and I'll just do exactly the same to the other piece of lamb that I've got here. Now I'm just going to pour over this lovely marinade and just rub it all over. And then I'm just going to flip this bit just to make sure we're getting some of that spice rub on the other side. Just lift it up gently. Just going to grab the rest of this. To that, we're just going to sprinkle over some onions. And then also some carrots. This will just add some sweetness. And finally, some canned tomatoes. This will add a lovely richness and sweetness to the sauce. And now I like to cover the baking tin with two layers of foil. This will make sure the meat stays nice and moist and it doesn't dry out. Now that we've covered this in foil, I'm going to show you how to cook it. To cook the lamb on the barbecue, I'm going to place the trivet that I got with my Weber, or you can use a rack. This will allow for the lamb to be cooked using indirect heat. And then I just place on the lid and let it preheat. Once the barbecue reaches 160 degrees, I bring out the lamb and pop it on the barbecue and cover it with the lid. Okay, so it's been about two hours. I'm just gonna check on the meat. It's already smelling really, really good. I'm just flipping over the meat just so both sides cook evenly. Place the foil back on and shut the lid. Okay, so it's been another two hours. So I'm just gonna check on this meat. Again, smelling really, really good. I know this meat's cooked because I can just pull it easily off the bone using some tongs. There's a beautiful sauce. The carrots, onions and tomatoes are completely broken down. I'm just going to try some of this lamb. Just dip it in that beautiful sauce. 
This slow cooked lamb is so delicious. Meat's really nice and tender from that slow cooking and the spices are just so, so beautiful. There's a reason why this is one of my daughter's favorite meals. And now it's time for my top tips. Number one, you want to take the lamb out of the fridge and let it sit at room temperature for about 20 minutes. This will allow for the meat to cook evenly. Number two, you can cut the vegetables any size you like. For fussy eaters, you want to cut the vegetables into really tiny pieces, so a small dice would be perfect. And number three, you want to shred the lamb and mix it through the sauce. This will make sure the meat stays nice and juicy and it's also easier to portion out and pop it into the freezer. Thanks so much for watching and I really hope you'll give this recipe a go. If you'd like to see more lunch or dinner recipes, let me know by liking this video or leaving a comment below. Until next time, keep cooking.